Hey guys, Aub here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 5 Lesson 22 homework. So let's get started. Number 1. Draw a tape diagram to match each number sentence. Then complete the number sentence. Alright, so... First, we have A, 2 plus 1 fourth. So our tape diagram, we're going to first draw 2. Alright, so this is one, this is two, and then plus one fourth. So now we're going to draw one fourth. That'd be like about this much. Alright, so now we have two plus one fourth, that's two and one fourth. Two one fourth. Now B, three plus two thirds. That's one, two, three. Plus two thirds. So that's three and two thirds. All right, but now we're moving on to subtraction. So two minus one fifth. I'm gonna first draw one and two, but actually I'm gonna draw like one and two. Minus one fifth. So I can separate one of the whole into fifths. So minus one fifth, I can just shade that part out. So now it's one and four fifths. All right, and D, three minus three fourths. That's one, two, three, minus three fourths. I'm gonna split one into fourths and shade out the three fourths, so that's two and one fourth remaining. All right, now number two, use the following three numbers to write two subtraction and two addition number sentences. All right, so first one, we have four, four and five eighths, and five eighths. So obviously for the subtraction, we, um, we know four and five eighths minus five eighths is four, because minus five eighths. But when you write two subtraction problems, the only other one that could work is 4 and 5 eighths minus 4, which will give you 5 eighths. Alright, and now for the addition, you add up the numbers to get the biggest number in the skirt, which is 4 and four, 5 fifths. That's 4 plus 5, or 4 plus 5 eighths, which is 4 and 5 eighths. I can do it backwards now. 5 eighths plus 4 is 4 and 5 eighths. Alright, now B, 2 sevenths plus, I wait, 2 sevenths and 5 and 5 sevenths and a 6. So in this group, um, obviously our 6 is the biggest number, which means for subtraction, we're going to start with 6. Minus two sevenths, so that will have to be the five and five sevenths. And six minus five and five sevenths would be the two sevenths. Now for addition, two sevenths plus five and five sevenths is six. And five and five sevenths plus two sevenths is also six. All right, now number three, solve using a number bond. Draw a number line to represent each number sentence. The first one has been done for you. All right. A, four minus one third. So for that four one minus one third, they first took out a hole from the four because we're minusing one third and one third of the denominator is three. So they took out three thirds which is one, and I'll give them three left because four minus one is three. So then that's three and three thirds minus one third is two thirds, so that's three and two thirds. And they just did a little number line. All right, so we do that with eight minus five, six. Eight, we can take out six, six. That's a whole, so I'll give us seven left. Um, so 6 6 minus 5 6 is 1 6. So that's 7 and 1 6. 
All right, and our number bone, I mean, our number line, click seven, eight. So that's eight minus five, six. So that's our answer. All right, next page, C, seven minus four fifths. So first I'm gonna take out five fifths, cast the denominator, and that'll give us six left. Now five fifths minus four fifths is one fifth, so that's six and one fifth. Our number line, Wait, this is very nice. So this is seven minus four fifths. So then there. Now D three minus three tenths. So I'm gonna take out ten tenths and then a two. That's ten tenths minus three tenths, which is seven tenths. We have two plus seven tenths, that's two and seven tenths. All right, so here this is two and this would be three. I'm gonna split this into tenths. Three minus three tenths. So it ends right here. Item right, number four, complete the subtraction sentences using number bonds. So kind of like up there, six minus one fourth, I'm gonna take out four fourths because that's equal to one. And we're using four because that's the denominator for one fourth. So six minus one is five. Now four fourths minus one fourth is three fourths. So that's five and three fourths. All right, now seven minus two tenths, take out 10 tenths, gives me six left. 10 tenths minus two tenths is equal to eight tenths. So that's six plus eight tenths, which is six and eight tenths. Now C, five minus five, six, take out six, six, that's four left over. Six, six minus five, six, is one sixth, so that's four and one sixth. D, six minus six eighths, take out eight eighths, and that's five left over. Eight eighths minus six eighths is two eighths, so that's five and two eighths. All right, like E, three minus seven eighths, take out eight eighths, Two left over, eight eighths minus seven eighths is one eighth. That's two plus one eighth, which is two and one eighth. All right, F, 26 minus seven tenths. Take out 10 tenths, that's 25 left over. 10 tenths minus seven tenths is three tenths. 25 plus three tenths is 25 and three tenths. So yeah. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!